This week on Inside Boulder News, after 15 months of construction, Arapaho Avenue opens to traffic in both directions between Folsom and 15th Streets. Boulder Fire Rescue helps keep students safe as a new school year begins, and pool area enhancements are the focus for the North Boulder Recreation Center's annual maintenance shutdown. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, I'm Ashley Prill. After 15 months of construction, Arapaho Avenue is open to traffic in both directions between Folsom and 15th Streets. Asphalt on Arapaho had deteriorated significantly, resulting in rutted areas, storm drainage issues, and cracks. Since June of 2013, crews have replaced the old asphalt with concrete and made additional improvements. So the concrete is expected to stay in good condition for at least 50 years and that'll help support the more than 23,000 vehicles that use this stretch of Arapaho each day. In addition to the concrete reconstruction, there's been sidewalk reconstruction, curb, gutter reconstruction. The sidewalks have been widened in places. The existing multi-use path and student parent drop-off lane at along Boulder High School property has been extended. There's been significant underground utility improvements and storm drainage improvements, and those will help maintain and preserve the concrete for many years to come. Sidewalk construction, landscaping, and other finished work will continue until the final phase of the project is completed this fall. On weekdays from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m., short sections of Arapaho Avenue will have single lane closures or be narrowed to one lane of alternating traffic. The Arapaho Avenue reconstruction is funded by the 2011 voter-approved capital improvement bond. If you have questions or you want to get the latest information about construction, you can call 303-441-3266, visit boulderconezones.net, or follow Boulder Cone Zones on Twitter. The students are coming and in preparation for the new school year at CU, Boulder Fire Rescue held its 14th Resident Advisor Academy last week. This is actually the birthplace of campus fire safety. It started 14 years ago with Boulder Fire and CU that created a partnership and it's actually taught throughout the United States. Um, National Fire Academy is doing a class on campus fire safety and it's modeled on the CU resident, the RA program, the resident assistant program. Over 200 RAs were put through a mini fire academy not only to learn fire safety skills but also life skills. The more tools we give the students to do their job ahead of time before an emergency happens, the better prepared they are and the better prepared they can do assisting us when, when something does happen. So, for example, they're learning compression-only CPR. More often than not, people run into medical problems before they run into fire problems. So they learn about smoke, how to get out of a fire quickly, um, how to use a fire extinguisher when a fire alarm sounds, what to do what happens when a smoke fills a dorm room, how quickly that hallway gets smoked up and how to find their way out. And those are life skills that will help keep themselves safe here and in the rest of their life. Knowing two ways out um, and being able just to talk to the students because they do have lots of um, requirements that they're not allowed to have in their dorm rooms. They're not allowed to have tapestries and candles and cook stoves. So learning the reasonings behind that and why that is and also how sprinkler systems work and fire alarm systems work. So it's a great partnership with CU um, and it helps them able to do their job better and it actually in turn helps us as well. Fall classes begin for CU students on Monday, August 25th. For more information about fire safety in the city of Boulder, visit bouldercolorado.gov slash fire rescue. Pool area enhancements are the focus for the North Boulder Recreation Center's annual maintenance shutdown going on this week. Due to normal wear and tear, crews are replastering the lap and leisure pools and recoding the leisure slide. You know, it, it really depends on, on the foot traffic, uh, your chemistry, uh, your exterior or interior environment will cause damage to the surface. Uh, most plaster finishes will last seven to ten years. Um, so this one's led its life and, and now we're going to resurface it. Uh, we did south this year as well. So they're on rotating schedules. Uh, east will probably be in a couple years. Uh, so the surface get repaired every seven to ten years depending on the degradation. While crews hustle to complete the pool work, the rest of the facility is also getting a good scrubbing. We understand how important that we are for the community. So we try to stay open you know, 51 weeks out of the year and we cram all of the preventative maintenance, asset management, r and our CIP projects in one um, week so we can just do it all at once. Things um, are highly used during those 51 weeks out of the year so we're going to go ahead and clean them, maintain them, and make sure that they don't break 
um, during those next 51 weeks for the next com coming year if we want to try to be ahead of the curve. The pool won't reopen until September 2nd, but the rest of the facility will be up and running on Monday, August 25th. In the meantime, the East Boulder Community Center, South Boulder Recreation Center, Boulder Reservoir, Spruce Pool, and Scott Carpenter Pool are all open. For more information, visit bouldercolorado.gov slash parksrec. This weekend, West Central Park will be filled with 20 of Boulder County's craft breweries for the first Boulder Craft Beer Festival. There will be food for purchase, live music, and attendees will be able to sample 40 different craft beers. Known for experimenting with new flavors, Twisted Pine Brewing Company will have an unusual beer from their Farm to Foam series on tap. We just, uh, just juiced 600 pounds of locally grown cucumbers earlier this week from Owen Farms up in Longmont. Added those to a, a cream ale that we brewed specifically for this beer. Boulder Craft Beer Fest will be the debut. Now I personally don't like to eat cucumbers, like it's not one of my normal dietary items, but I seem to like to drink them. They're just so refreshing and they cool you off. It's a great patio beer. It uh, pairs perfectly with the sunshine. Check out all of the great local businesses at the Boulder Craft Beer Festival from noon to 5 on Saturday, August 23rd in West Central Park. Tickets can be purchased online at bouldercraftbeerfest.com. The USA Pro Challenge will also be in Boulder this weekend. On Sunday, August 24th, over 150 professional cyclists will start the last leg of their week-long race on 18th and Pearl. Once the racers take off, kids up to 11 years old will be able to ride on the same course as the pros in the first Kids Challenge. For the full event schedule or to register for the Kids Challenge, visit usaproboulder.com. For road closures and traffic impacts, log on to boulderconezones.net. Thank you for watching Inside Boulder News. Stay in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter by submitting news tips and questions. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe.